Today is the 16th day of the blessed month of Baram Hoth. May God end it in goodness and renew it for us in peace and tranquility, while our sins and iniquities are forgiven. Through the tender mercies of our Lord, O my fathers and my brethren, Amen. On this day of the year 1702 of the Martyrs, the pure virgin St. Mary appeared above the church of St. Damiana in Papadoplo Shobra, Cairo, Egypt. That was in the 15th year of the pontificate of his honor, Pope Shenouda III, 117th Patriarch of Alexandria. The apparitions of the virgin were characterized by it was for thousands of people on the domes of the church and was also marked by the innumerable miracles performed by the virgin to many without distinction. This apparition also continued for many months. What happened in the church was tangible and gradual in the form of wondrous light of unknown source. Then the light started to have form and shape. The people began to feel the occurrence of miracles and signs around them which confirmed the faith in their hearts. This apparition accompanied by some spiritual phenomena as the repeated apparition of the Virgin in different forms, the appearance of pigeons flying at night, the smell of incense over the church, and a very luminous and radiant unnatural light appearing inside the church towers and also emitted in different places of the church shining to the outside. The various news media, both foreign and Arabic, covered this apparition. This apparition was confirmed also by a report issued by the Special Synodical Committee that was entrusted by His Highness Pope Shenouda to investigate and verify the facts of this glorious apparition. The blessing of the intercession of Our Lady the Virgin, St. Mary, be with us all. Amen. On this day also of the year 483 of the Martyrs, Pope Gael I, 46th Patriarch of Alexandria, departed. This father was a pious monk in the monastery of St. Macarius the Great, in the wilderness of Shahit. When Pope Theodorus departed, the bishops, priests, and lay leaders unanimously agreed to choose the Holy Father Chael in Macquarie to consecrate him patriarch for what was known of his godliness, piety, and knowledge. They seized Father Chael against his will and brought him to Alexandria. They consecrated him patriarch on the 17th day of Tut, year 460 of the martyrs, by the name Pope Chael I. On the day of his enthronement, it rained heavily for three days after two consecutive years of drought. The people of Alexandria considered that to be a good omen. This pope endured many hardships from the ruler Abdelmelech ibn Marwan, for he was beaten, imprisoned, chained, and tortured. When Kyriakos, king of Nubia, knew that he was extremely enraged and he prepared about 100,000 soldiers and marched toward Egypt. He encamped around El Fustet, threatening to destroy it. When Abdelmelech, the ruler, saw the armies of King Kyriakos and realized that all this had taken place for the sake of the patriarch, he was terrified and released him from prison. The ruler entreated the patriarch to mediate a truce between him and the king of Nubia. The patriarch went out along with some of the clergy to meet the king of Nubia and asked him to accept the truce with Abdelmelech. The king accepted his mediation and returned to his country. The ruler started to respect Pope Chayyib and lifted up his persecution against his people. Moreover, the pope prayed for the sake of the ruler's daughter, who was possessed with an unclean spirit, and with his prayers she was healed. Because of that, the governor increased his respect for the patriarch. When Pope Chael completed his good endeavor, he departed in peace. He remained on the apostolic throne for 23 years and 6 months. The blessing of his prayers be with us all, and glory be to our God forever. Amen. Mm -hmm.